What's up, guys? This is Ryan from Florida Gator News. Um, just uh, coming at you with my Miami of Ohio versus Florida football game predictions. It's tomorrow, 12 o'clock, 12.30 Eastern Time. Can't only remember exactly. But, um, anyway, um, back to the topic. I kind of got a little messed up in my last video about the new combo, uh, Nike Pro Combat uniforms that said crocodile skin instead of gator skin, which uh, one person did not take too good. It's just a verbal error, and when I tell that guy to go fuck himself. Enough with that. I just had to get that out there, because um, obviously everybody makes mistakes, like I said, and this little horse fucker just... Uh, didn't really like my mistake. So, um, anyway, back to the predictions. Um, obviously, it's a noon game coming from the north, uh, Miami of Ohio. That I don't think they were going to take the 90 degree heat too well. Uh, game time and temperature, I'm guessing, after looking at the weather on my phone, uh, temperature and stuff will be. Let me look again. Saturday, 92 is the high, so, um, that's, it's going to be partly cloudy, which could help them. And, um, Florida will have their first game as John Brantley is starting quarterback, no Tim Tebow, um, no Aaron Hernandez, no Joe Hayden, no Brandon Spikes, no Jermaine Cunningham, no, uh, crap, Major Wright, no... Riley Cooper, yes, those are the best players, but I'd rather lose, like, like I just said, like, seven best players than ten good players, you know, like, ten starters, you know, I mean, have, I don't care how great the person is, but I'd rather lose less player, less really good players than more, um, good players. Alright, so anyway, um, John Brantley's first start, as you all know, um, they're going to play spread. They moved Chris Rainey to slot receiver, which we're going to put some speed in, on the slots. And having Andre DeBose as wide receiver slash running back, they're going to be dangerous up uh, running up the field. And then plus in the backfield, you have Jeff Demps, uh, the fastest college football player right now. And um, he is very explosive, and we'll see what he can bring to the team. You know, they're going to pass, 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 and run, run, run. It's going to be a tough type of style of, of offense to stop. Um, obviously, coming from the MAC, I believe that is what um, conference I of Ohio is from, uh, they, I guess, up there are very used to the pass game from Toledo. Um, also, also having Ben Roethlisberger and dealing with Brian Lethwich. Um They are very used to, you know stopping the pass. So I'm um, expecting Florida to do a kind of a balanced kind of offense against Miami of Ohio, running it with Jeff Demps and Mike Gillisley, and then event uh, then also, you know, doing a pass thing, uh, passing it to, you know, Carl Moore, which is probably gonna be uh, John Brantley's main guy, and you have DeBose and Rainey, it's it's gonna be explosive and they're gonna score a lot of points. Um Obviously, being the first star, John Brantley, I'm sure he's got some nerves, or I'm sure he doesn't. He um, played, obviously, against Kentucky after Tim Tebow got the concussion, but that was already late in the game, and they were winning by over, like, 30 points. So I guess there was no pressure besides the fact that how, how, uh, you're wondering how good your teammate is in healthy condition. Anyway, um, I think the defense will do absolutely outstanding. In college fantasy football, they're rated number one. Um... Even we, even though we lost Spikes and Hayden and Major Wright, Jermaine Cunningham, we still have a lot of returning players like uh, Jenkins and Dustin Doe, Ahmad Black. Uh, I think Ryan Stamper is still there, and some defensive linemen. I, I think Carlos Dunlap is back. I'm not sure. He might have been a senior. Uh, there's this one guy on defensive line. I can't pronounce his name. Tupu or something like that. And then you gotta think of all the incoming freshmen um, that Florida got. You know, probably one of the best freshman classes ever, according to 
I believe that's what Jew Shad said on ESPN, one of the best uh, recruiting classes ever. Hopefully that will become true statistically for the Gators. Um, I don't expect my Ohio to score too many points. I expect him to score somewhere between 10 and 20. I don't think they'll get shut out. I don't think they'll score only single digits just because of, you know, if you're from the MAC, most likely you have a really good offense. And, um, you know, and Florida's defense is really good, but most likely I, I see my Ohio my getting 13 or 10 or 17 or 14 points somewhere around there. I think I see Florida getting in the 30s or 40s. Um, it's not going to be too terrible. It's not. I don't think it's going to be too terrible of a blowout because you know Miami of Ohio is actually of a, a solid team per se, uh, per se. Which brings me to my actual prediction. I think John Brantley will have three touchdown passes and close to 250 passing yards. Uh, maybe throwing a pick. Maybe not. And I see Jeff Dimps having a field day out there along with him and Debose. Uh, they run any like reverses with them, and of course Mike Gillisley. I see them, you know, Dibs is. I see him having a triple digit rushing yard game. I see him having maybe one touchdown. Gillisley will have a touchdown. They put him inside the goal line. See the bigger type of back. Um, I think the wide receivers will do great. You know, we lost Riley Cooper. He's a great hand man. We still have Deontay Thompson as well. This is uh, it's a really good offense, and I do think. Um, the defense will um, have maybe three or two interceptions, maybe force a fumble. But I do think one thing that will hurt the Gators, I do think they will have, and they have always have been struggling with, is penalties, and they will probably continue to struggle with those penalties. The false starts, holdings. Um, uh, that's about it. That's all we have problems with, but we do get called on a lot of those. So we need to, uh, hopefully they can fix that, but I do think that will hurt them. And I think the final score will be, I want to say, 38-17, or 38-13 is my prediction. It's kind of bold. Uh, you never really hear scores called 38-13, uh, but I do think they're going to win by 20 and uh, possibly cover the spread. I think the spread is... Uh, 21 and a half. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, that's it, guys. Uh, that is the Miami Ohio versus Florida Gator prediction. I'll come out with you with a post game video. Um, that'll be on either Sunday night or Monday, Monday afternoon. I'll, I'll be talking about the game, showing uh, video clips and pictures and all that other stuff. So, yeah, this is Ryan. Um, by the way, if you want to have, if you want me to make videos about college football picks against the spread and all that, I can do that as well. Um, so just leave comments in that below, and uh, that's about it. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.